What's up everybody? I'm Adam. You're watching Model Aviator and we appreciate it. This week we have a fun flight for you with a Warbird. This is my buddy Carl Pankey's P51D Mustang. It's from E-Flights, 1.5 meters. It's a very, very pretty airplane. I have to say, when this airplane came out, I didn't like the paint scheme. While it is a true World War II paint scheme that an actual P-51 had, in World War II, where you see blue, it was olive drab. There is a full-scale P-51 with this actual paint scheme on it. I'm not sure why they changed it to blue. Like I said, when I first saw it, kind of hated it. Now that I've flown it, I will say that with the invasion stripes and the blue, this airplane is really, really easy to see for RC, for line of sight flying. That's a great paint scheme, so it's a lot prettier to me now, now that I've actually flown one. So Carl, as some of you know, is a good friend of ours. He's a great friend of the channel. We've featured a lot of his airplanes. The B2 we did a couple weeks back, that was one of Carl's airplanes. He picked this one up at Ceph. Uh, it's, this is not really a review of it, obviously, just a fun flight. I didn't build it or assemble it, neither did Carl. He bought it from a gentleman that had put it together and had yet to maiden it. Got, from what I understand, a pretty smoking deal on it, so that's great for Carl. We show up to the field, Heidi and I, to film something else. Carl's there. We never know what he's going to bring. He brought that and said, hey, how about maiden this thing? So we maiden it, got it flying pretty good, and then I did some Warbird, I guess, air show aerobatics with it. Just trying to kind of fly at scale. Very, very smooth flyer. I have to say that usually airplanes that have a gyro, to be honest, annoy me. Um, either the gains are set too high or it interferes with something that I'm trying to do in some way that just gets on my last nerve. I have to admit, the AS3X in this is dialed really, really well. Even at full speed, uh, even in a dive, and this is a 6S ship. It's not slow, not the fastest Warbird that I've ever flown, but it's got plenty of climb rate and plenty of speed for scale Warbird stuff. Obviously, it's faster than scale, but you need the speed, the momentum, and the power combined to do really big Warbird maneuvers, and this airplane does that pretty doggone well. So it's powered pretty perfectly, to be honest. And, um, yeah, so... I'm going to give you some flying impressions of the airplane during the flight. I'll narrate a bit, kind of tell you what I'm thinking. Uh, we flew it several times. It was nose heavy to start with. We're having a tough time on landing, keeping the tail from kind of getting out of wax. It's got a very, very hard tail wheel, and with so much mass up front and nothing on the tail, that geotextile with a really hard tire is pretty slippery. So if you've ever flown off geotextile, you'll understand that. Once we used the smaller battery, we started with a 5,000. Once we went to a 4,000 and got it as far back on the tray as we could get it, that put enough mass on the tail so that I could actually keep it under control and kind of rile it in, so to speak, on landing. I think once we put a little bit of ballast in the back, probably all the way back on the tail and get that balance dead nuts perfect uh, for what I think it should be, then the ground handling as far as landing is going to be pretty doggone easy. It's really easy on takeoff because you've got power flowing over that rudder, so it's pretty easy to keep it in check there. But on landing, once that tail drops, unless you get the weight back a bit, it's pretty hard to hang on to that tail, at least on geotextile. Probably wouldn't be a problem on grass, but we didn't fly it off grass. Might not even be a problem on pavement, but on geotextile, being nose heavy was a problem, not in the flying, at least not with what we were doing with it, but it was definitely a problem with the ground alley. So just want to point that out. Anyway, I've been jabbering enough. Carl, thanks for letting us film your airplane. Thanks for letting me fly it. Enjoyed it. I know you'll enjoy it. And hopefully all of you will enjoy this fun flight with Carl's P-51. Check it out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.
this particular runway isn't the smoothest that we fly off of. There's a lot of bumps and undulations in it. The oleo struts on the E-Flight P-51 tend to handle that pretty well, I thought. We're going to kick things off with something that I think is a must for any Warbird demonstration, and that's the topside presentation pass. When a Warbird is presented well, to me they cover a lot of ground as if they're dominating the airspace. I really like the look of that. Everything is smooth, controlled, and deliberate. Here, I'm going to set up for a slow roll, followed by a Humpty Bump. This is a half Cuban. We're going to follow that up with a rolling reversal and then a four point roll. This is simply a flat 360, and then we'll follow that up with a half Cuban coming in the other direction with a two-point rollout. And then we'll come back in the opposite direction and do a loop. This airplane grooves very nicely. It's very smooth. At no point in any of the flying that we did on this day that I feel like the AS-3X actually showed itself. And that, to me, is the sign of a very well-tuned gyro when you can't tell by looking that it's there. That last maneuver after the high speed pass was a vertical roll with a bit of a hammerhead. And in case you think a full scale P 51 can't do a vertical roll, look up Scott Yoke and Quicksilver. I assure you, 
When they're pushed, they absolutely can. And we finish off there with a big displacement roll. It's very similar to a barrel roll, but rather than finishing on line, you actually finish on a line parallel, but offset to the line that you started on. And this is the landing. This is after we got the balance a bit more back, and I was able to keep the tail under control on that geotextile. All in all, the brilliant plane enjoyed flying. Thank you, Carl. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.